Sometimes when you're dating someone, you may question their attachment to their original parent. Like most of us are attached and it's not uncommon for someone you're dating to tell you that they call their mom or dad every day. And in fact, they, they may refer to their parent as their best friend and that's okay. I mean, when I, when I really get nervous or when you maybe should start going, hmm, is when they need to talk to their parent to make any decision. And no matter what, they see their parent every weekend or, you know, a couple times a week. When it's too much, then I ask myself, you know, what's going on here? There's such a thing as emotional incest. And what happens where we see it a lot is with single divorced parents, especially. They overdo, they get too close emotional, emotionally. But at the same time, they just, as the child grows up, they don't really separate. They continue that relationship. It also happens in the loss of a parent or a parent who is not mentally healthy. It is a form of abuse and it used to be or can be called covert um, emotional incest. But most of the time, emotional incest is referred the parent to the child. So what are some signs? What does it look like? Well, being emotionally dependent on the child when the parent is dependent, oversharing with the child, being overly involved in the child's life. The child doesn't really have friends. They have you. Uh, monopolizing their life. Like if they want to go out with friends for a week and you're like, oh, oh, I was planning to go to a movie or I was planning this. I mean, that's just a little odd. Most parents have parent peer friends and they hang out with those. When your child becomes your world, that's just not, it's not healthy. And then making the child feel responsible for their well-being. Like if the child can drive, asking their child to take them to all their appointments or where they need to go. And making that child all about dinner at night and they kind of exclude others or just totally manipulating the child because of their giving birth to the child and being their mom. They'll use that to make the child feel guilty. And yes, a lot, most of emotional incest is done with the mother. It, you will, less common, you would see it with the dad. However, it does happen. And it might even be initiated by the child more, or the child responds because they want that father's attention. I mean, they want their dad in their life, but it's too much. It's not normal. Okay, so um, examples of emotional incest, that would be when the parent starts sharing intimate details about their life or their health, things the child isn't ready for, or the parent you know, goes out on a date and tells the child everything that may be sexually inappropriate or just inappropriate in the sense that you don't share that kind of stuff with a child. They may giggle, you know, get together and cuddle and tell secrets and stuff that are inappropriate. It's, it's things you would talk to, gossip you would talk to with your best friend, but not a child. I don't care if they're a mature 13 or 14 year old, that would just be odd. Um, the parent undermines the child's other parent so that they get all the glory or honor or respect. They make the other parent look less than. The parent has kind of leaves the kid feeling guilty. They're really good at guilt trips. And that goes along with part of the manipulative tactics they use. Why, why does this happen? And if you're asking, if you're starting to say, my gosh, this is me or this is the person I'm dating, why is it going on? Well, the first thing is the parent is probably emotionally immature. They probably came from a family that was chaotic, perhaps abusive, neglectful, and so they never matured emotionally. Or the parent may be so isolated, so introverted that they don't feel comfortable reaching out to other peers. They may feel intimidated by peers. They have a low self-esteem perhaps, so that when they compare themselves to other people and they don't stand up to them. Um, they may have had distrust from their own parents, so they feel like if I gave birth to someone, I can trust them, they're on my side. 
they make they they project onto their child that this child is never going to change this is who they are forever and so it stifles the child's emotional maturity too and you can see it happening in a family of origin when you have all the members in and lastly there's mental health conditions as i said this is not a healthy thing and if you're dating someone like this the best thing you're going to be able to do is kind of question what they're doing and then suggest therapy so what do you expect the child or young adult you're dating to have they're going to have emotional difficulties going to have hard time soothing themselves insecurities low self-esteem you know they're not going to have great social skills because they've been stifled emotionally and may not even know what they're feeling their parent was used to telling them that there's a lack of autonomy victimization they may take anything in life and make themselves the victim and they really have a low life satisfaction so what can you do as i said earlier talk to them question why they're doing what they are and suggest a good therapist if you are the parent that's done this it's just so important that you own up to it that you tell your child listen i really i really erred in this and i am so sorry and then not only that but start seeking other friends join groups and by all means go to therapy the young adult who has this therapy usually works really well for the older adult or the parent that is doing this most of the time unfortunately they won't change so what i'm suggesting is do what you can for the for your date or if you're the child who grew up like this who is now an adult looking for a mate go seek help go talk to a therapist tell them some of the dialogue that happened in your family of origin write it down journal it and they can work with you they can guide you out of this messy uh, type of abuse that you've been struggling with if this video is helpful for you please subscribe and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much